In this video, I am going to talk about nanorods, how to synthesize nanorod and why nanorods, why not nanoparticles, why not nanoflowers uh, and some other uh, nanomaterials. It's clear from the name that rods we know rods because the shape is in the form of rod. The shapes look like rods, you know, like rods. And why it is called nano? Because uh, we know that this is in the nano range. The, for example, one side is in the nano range. If you complain that it is not in nano, it is not below 100, but there are some also uh, uh, below 100 uh, uh, sides, right? So now let's discuss that why not nano particles, why not nano flowers, why not uh, nano. Uh, uh, other materials and why nano rods, right? If you look into the nano material, as I explained uh, in my first video, so uh, th there are so many problems. For instance, uh, excessive electron diffusion paths. For example, if you look, so many paths are there. But if you look into here, only one straight path, like uh, uh, like a road here. But if you look into nanoparticle, this is so congested and. <laughs> Uh, so many diffusion path. Diffusion mean uh, when electron you you release electron here, and electron want to move to the uh, uh, surface or from electrode. So it has to pass through a lot of obstacles. Mean uh, how obstacle? Let's consider this big particle, and when you put electrolyte or some dye here, uh, so it will go here. So you know here, and the dye cannot go inside the material, but it will act on the surface. So when electron jump or go from diffuse from this surface to this surface, it has to pass through these holes. Electrolyte has contain holes. So when it passes, there is chances of recombinations. So the one problem with nanoparticle is uh, recombination. A lot of recombination. Recombination mean uh, in hole transport material we have holes, and electron transport material we have electrons. So electron is looking for hole, and hole is looking for electrons. So they combine. This is called recombination. So excessive electron diffusion path in nanomaterials. This is why we are looking for nanorods. This is the first drawback of nanomaterial. No, not nanomaterial, the nanoparticles. Uh, you see here a nanoparticle based film. If you're making film electrodes. The second one is, second one is short electron diffusion length. The, the, a lot number of electron diffusion paths. And the second one is shorter electron diffusion length. How? Shorter diffusion length mean diffusion mean uh, for instance, when I mean electron uh, is passing from here to here, so this is this is shorter distance. If you when electron pass from here, uh, so uh, here is electrolyte. So we need electrode which is made from this one material. So for example, li like like this rod here. So this is now the FTO or TCO here. I mean electrode here, and we just grow this uh, vertical nano rod using hydrothermal method. I will show you how to grow this and I will just sh show you from the Google that uh, how we grow this uh, uh, vertical nano rods using hydrothermal method. Very simple and basic method. Hydrothermal method means you mix uh, uh, solution, mean take the precursor and solution and put in the oven in autoclave and it will give you this shape. Very simple, right? <coughs> right. The second is sh short electron diffusion lane and it's very, very clear because we need a one material to when, when we generate electron here and that material take our electron to the electrode collection site. We need a material like this, like this near rod. For instance, when you generate electron at some place here, so it will directly reach here to the electrode through this straight path, right? So excessive electron diffusion paths and secondly, uh, short electron diffusion length is too clear, restricted by the defects in the mesophorous particles. Uh, you see here, this is the particles. Uh, offer significant barriers, you see, significant barriers to further improve the performance of device. It can be any type of device. Uh, I know particularly photovoltaics like solar cells because solar cells we generate electron by solar light and those electrons are lost. We lose those electrons because of the uh, uh, nanoparticles uh, and these two issues, right? This is basically now nanorod, why we prefer nanorod uh, because, as I explained, because of the two reasons, right? Now let's see here, 
uh, this order one dimensional array like this one here this is the diffusion length here has the highest diffusion length yeah you can see here the very you can see that if you bring small nanoparticle here 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 so it is made of a lot of nanoparticle right it's made a lot of nanoparticles so it has uh, uh, due to the direct the directed charge channel you see here directed channel this is one benefits directed charge as i explained like nanoparticle here one and one here you see here are traced with another one here and another one here so here we can a lot of spaces here and uh, uh, electrolyte can stay here or some other material which contain holes and when electron pass from one to another so it can attack and hole and recombine and we got nothing right so the first benefits are useful uh, is the directed uh, charge channel this, this is the one thing the second important is uh, light scattering uh, because you if you look into the nanoparticle it is it is very very small and we are talking about the uh, uh, visible light and you see the wavelength is almost in 700 nanometer somehow so you uh, this nano rod uh, contain one side contain very lengthy here it's in micron here micron size so <coughs> because this is the this is the diameter so the length is very very long here in micron size and it can create light scattering light scattering means that uh, our light can can do a lot of job mean multiple uh, excitation excitation exciton creation can occur uh, with the, in this uh, uh, nano rod because uh, the size is comparable to the wavelength of light right? so the second benefit is light scattering due to the micron size uh, length scale right as well as the possibility of space charge this is another terminology uh, space charge is opposite to the point charge so once we have point charge because uh, uh, small but this is uh, lengthy and long uh, here we have uh, space charge uh, to increase the charge mobility charge mobility is a phenomena which uh, electron move or hole move that mobility that uh, ability of charge uh, when move faster or quicker is called charge mobility so due to this rod we can also increase the charge mobility and because of the space charge uh, right so this is how we <coughs> synthesize the rod and uh, the benefits i explained and let me simply go to uh, google and uh, i'll show you here very simple how to synthesize uh, uh, nano particle so just write synthesis of vertically nano <coughs> Uh, nano nano rods by hydrothermal method by hydro you see the first is here so a lot of a lot of this you go google this and uh, go to images and you will see a lot of uh, uh, thing here you people uh, people work a lot very simple process and you see uh, similar uh, rods are the one i show here also so you just take uh, one uh, this you see here just take one uh, idea and go to literature and uh, just uh, start following it very very simple methodology you see the same is grown you know rats right so uh, the, 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 the this is uh, look here this is very similar to mine one the one I showed so this is you know, rats here it's a very simple method uh, just go to Google and uh, uh, write uh, synthesis of vertical nano rods by hydrothermal method. You can also synthesize using another method. As I show one method, for example, if you want to synthesis the zinc oxide nano rods, the tin oxide, the uh, titania, any kind, you take the precursor and just follow the literature, and you will uh, get your job done. Okay, thanks for watching.